too. So the first thing, I've compiled um, my copy of OpenJDK. You can get that from the OpenJDK site on the Mac OS X port. Next I'm going to go into Tools, Platforms, and I'm going to add the platform. And as we can see, I've actually put this in my personal directory, library, Java, Java Virtual Machines, JDK 1.7 OJDK. I select Home, hit Next. It'll detect the version. We're going to change this to Open JDK and hit Finish. We'll notice that now Open JDK is installed in the NetBeans IDE. And I can go ahead and create a project. Here we'll create a simple Java application. Hit Finish. Once the project is created, we'll switch the IDE from its default in the project to OpenJDK 1.7. So we'll go to the Properties. Select Libraries. We'll see that its default is OpenJDK 1 or JDK 1.6. I'm going to switch it to OpenJDK 1.7. I'm going to go back to the sources and I'm going to change the version to JDK 7. Then I'm going to hit OK. Just to prove that this works, I actually have cheated a little bit. I have actually some code here. This is a string and switch statement, which is only available in JDK 1.7 or greater. And I'm going to put this in our application. And we'll format it here. So the string and switch case, or switch statement, uh, which uses string, um, is available, as I noted, in JDK 1.7. So when we run this, we should be able to actually output our result. So we'll save it and we'll wait for the um, JDK to be scanned. As you can see down here, it's scanning. We'll wait for that to finish. So it's updating the indices. That's done. We'll run our app. And you'll notice it printed out hello world by using the string and switch because our case is world and it went down to world and it found world and it printed hello world. And that's the end of my demonstration. Thank you.